Well, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, along with the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Office, have placed a large and rather interesting order. They've ordered 450 million rounds of ammunition to be made and delivered to them over the next five years. Now, the company Alliant Tech Systems, or ATK, was awarded the contract to manufacture 40 caliber ammunition, high performance bullets. Apparently, apparently, these bullets, quote, provide optimum penetration for terminal performance. Uh, this refers to the way the tip of the bullet passes through barriers and expands, all the while holding its jacket in the toughest conditions. All right, so this is interesting because this is not the Pentagon making the order for the military. It's DHS and ICE. And to give you a little perspective here, there are only about 311 million people living in the entire country. Uh, so it begs the question, why such a massive order, 450 million bullets? David Seaman is a journalist and host of The DL Show. He's in our Miami studios, and I'm hoping he might be able to give us a little perspective on this. Uh, David, why does the DHS need 450 million hollow-point bullets? Hi, Christine. Uh, well, the DHS, Department of Homeland Security, just to be clear with your viewers, consists of uh, the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration, and Immigration Services, among other uh, divisions. So, exactly, this is not the U.S. military. This is a domestic law enforcement agency, and the TSA are basically glorified uh, bag screeners and airport screeners. That was their, that was their original congressional mandate, uh, was to screen passengers before they get on an airplane. So the question, the question really is, why do they need 450 million rounds of ammunition? And to be fair, uh, some people online who don't want to believe uh, what's going on have said that this is just going to be used for target practice. Or also, uh, it could be that the government is simply stockpiling ammunition because uh, they don't want to get into a situation where there's an ammo shortage and our law enforcement officers don't have any ammunition. And those are both fair points. But uh, that kind of ammo that they purchased from ATK, hollow point ammunition, as you had explained, uh, it's designed to, you know, tear through human flesh and then expand. It's designed to kill people. This is not the optimal uh, kind of ammo you would buy for target practice. It's more expensive and it's more precise. I think that's a, a really interesting point to bring up. Uh, and I'm wondering, too, I, I mean, certainly there are a, a lot of layers here when we talk about the DHS purchasing this. There's not really been sort of a, a concrete answer as to why. But I'm wondering if there's not, you know, a larger discussion to be had here. I mean, we're seeing gun sales in the U.S. at an all-time high. We've already seen the DHS begin hiring armed security guards to protect federal buildings. Uh, do you think this is a sign that they're preparing for some sort of mass civil unrest? Well, the DHS, uh, the people within it, uh, TSA agents, they are not federal agents, so they're not as well trained, they're not as well vetted. Uh, these are the kinds of people who think that grandmothers and little children are a threat to national security uh, when they go through an airport. And to give all of these, these agents so much firepower, uh, it, it really does make you wonder if they know something that the American people do not know about. And uh, they actually placed, they have an open bid right now, DHS, for even more ammunition for 175 million rounds of uh, 223 caliber rifle ammo, which some people online have brought up as almost identical to the ammunition used by NATO peacekeeping forces. So that's very interesting. Uh, are they planning on some kind of widespread economic unrest in the U.S. that would require uh, NATO forces to help us out? I really don't know. The one thing I do know is that uh, I don't like to inject my own opinion into these reports all the time, but if the founding fathers were alive today, uh, they would be disgusted. Uh, we're rapidly militarizing our domestic law enforcement officers. And, you know, I think a lot of people are scared. Uh, TSA is scary enough. Wait until they all have guns. Well, I mean... You can't speak back when they're, when they're groping you at the airport. TSA, I mean, as you say, they are part of the Department of Homeland Security. Certainly um, the, the largest terrorist attack in, in our memorable history happened uh, due to uh, poor screening at airports, I guess you could say. But it, it is also immigration and customs enforcement. I mean, is, have you seen any indications that perhaps there's going to be a larger crackdown along this nation's borders? I mean, could that be part of it? Uh, certainly that's a possibility, although I don't see hundreds of millions of people uh, flooding into America from Mexico or Canada anytime soon. Uh, the jobs that were once here are no longer here. Uh, I, I really don't understand it. I keep trying to put my head around it and, you know, you try out different scenarios. Why do they need this much ammo? And certainly target practice is one option, but even if they're burning through 20 million rounds a month uh, to train their agents, this is still overkill. This is still too much. So best case scenario, this is sort of a waste of taxpayers' money. And worst case scenario is, as you said, they're planning for economic unrest 
or violent protests or something that requires hollow point ammunition on a wide scale. And some of the largest protests that we've seen uh, certainly uh, just happened in, in the last six months or so, the Occupy Wall Street protests. And, you know, like you, David, I was kind of reading up on this, and there are a lot, a lot of theories as well uh, that there's sort of a connection between DHS and the police forces in this country, particularly in the Occupy Wall Street crackdown. I know DHS agents, it's been confirmed, have been involved in various ways in many of the Occupy movements around the country. Um, but I'm wondering what's going on in, in terms of, I, I mean, is there a line, is that line now blurred between DHS and local and regional police forces? I think uh, there has been, from what I've been reading online, there has been some federal involvement in uh, local police crackdowns on peaceful protesters. And uh, we're really seeing a shift where the government, both in the court of public opinion and in our laws, is trying to criminalize uh, peaceful protesters and turn them into something more than what they actually are. Uh, you know, when you have a bunch of college kids banging on drums and, you know, asking for people to address issues like income inequality or the foreclosure crisis, those people are not really a threat to national security. Uh, and yet, the Department of Homeland Security, as I've seen online, they might be involved in some of the intelligence gathering. And uh, it concerns me, and I think it concerns pretty much anybody out there who's seeing what's happening. Certainly a lot of people concerned. And again, we still have no uh, sort of confirmation as to exactly what these will be used for. Uh, who knows if that will ever come out, but it's an interesting discussion. I think it's important for our viewers to see exactly what's going on here. Again, that this purchase was made not by the Pentagon, but by DHS for 450 million rounds of ammunition. David Seaman, journalist and host of The DL Show. A glitch today involving food stamp debit style cards is being blamed on a computer system failure and not the government shutdown. How about this massive system failure left people on food stamps with no way to buy groceries yesterday and threatening chaos. Walmart shoppers in two Arklatex towns looking to do some grocery shopping on Sunday found bare shelves and empty food bins. Looked like someone raided it.